Oh, that's stupid, isn't it? That's dumb, right? All right, try again. Welcome to our Thai saw barn. Got Katie milking over here. She's squeezing teats. Here, let's see where we're at. Uh, this is the tailgate of the truck. I don't know, I'd say it's probably a good six, seven inches. Um, so we milk in a tie stall barn, which is a really old way, outdated way, if you maybe some would say, of milking cows, at least in the United States. I think in Canada it's actually like 70%. Something like that. I don't know. Aren't all statistics made up or something like that, too? Anyways, a lot of farms in Canada actually still milk in a tie stall barn. Um, it can be really efficient if you don't milk that many cows. So we only milk 40. Um, so it works for us. But um, a lot of dairies in the United States are getting away from this as farms are increasingly becoming bigger and bigger, um, for better or worse. Anyways, Katie's milking. So I figured it would be a great time to A go annoy her and B show you guys how we milk cows in our facility. differently I like to grain the cows like right before I turn the milk system on because it keeps them up and eating a little bit longer um, it's ideal that they don't lay down right after they're milked for sanitary reasons for their own utter health and teat health um, so that's how that's how I do it so this is our grain auger system nice <laughs> that's how those piles keep appearing so the cows know when they're getting mm -hmm. clean. I love it. Ooh. Is that freaking delicious? Ooh, Look at her! Oh my gosh, she's so freaking cute! She's so freaking cute! Katie, what's the procedure here at Mayday Farms? Um, so we breed up all of the cows uh, teats with a sanitizing teat dip. We want to let that sit on their teats for at least 30-ish seconds. That uh, allows it to do its sanitizing job. Every cow gets uh, stripped out. That's like a couple of tugs on each tee to get the milk stimulating and going, stimulated, going. So we strip into a strip pop here so that we can see if the cow's having any issues, um, like mastitis or the milk looks off. Oh, question. If anybody uses these, apparently they discontinued them which sucks because they're my favorite other than that they suck, but they, this design, the ergonomics of it is pretty good. So if anyone knows where to get these still, or if anyone's got a plastic printer, what do they call it? 3D printer and want to hook up a poor dairy farmer, this is what we need. Then they get wiped each shot uh, and get spun special attention. Uh, so everything gets wiped off, dried, make sure there's no poop or sawdust or any other foreign objects. Uh, and then we attach the milking unit. Sometimes they get feisty, right, Katie? Yeah, 
has to show off her staff. And then I did my hands between cows. Really important. You don't want to like spread milk from cow to cow in case there's any sort of infection happening. Then uh, we use a pretty viscous post dip that's iodine based. And that goes on as, yeah. as quickly after they're finished milking as possible. Um, we want to like make sure that while the tea end is still open, that it's getting uh, completely covered uh, so it doesn't get any bacteria. Me like that? Wait, okay. We walk and we're the cows. Hey, dude, this is so stupid. What? What are you doing? Why are you doing that? Look at the fucking her. Welcome to uh, our Thai saw barn. Catch your boy sleeping in one of the stalls when there's one empty, you know what I'm saying? I suck at this. I don't know, Katie, I don't think I'm cut out for this.